It's been getting hot outside, so I really wanted to make my own air conditioner. Air conditioners are hard to understand. If you've ever opened one up, you probably found one of these in there, which is literally like a black box, really a black obloid. It's almost impossible to know what's going on inside there. And it's kind of scary to start opening up pipes that have explosive high pressure fluids in them. And it's probably illegal and you can go to jail. I wanted to make the simplest air conditioner I could out of hardware store and Amazon parts so I could understand what was going on inside of an air conditioner. Here's what I came up with. This tube and this piston came from Amazon. It was a fire starter thing for like, I don't know, you would put a little piece of paper down there and use the diesel effect to light it on fire. I really just needed something that was had a nice seal and that you could see into. Um, this is just a standard gas valve for natural gas in your house to hook up to your stove. These fittings are just hardware store fittings that happen to fit everything together. So the idea is that we're going to fill up this tube with the working fluid and compress it using this piston and get a state change out of it. For the working fluid, I picked butane because you can get it anywhere and uh, it has a phase change at a pressure of about 30 PSI according to Google, which should be able to get from 15 pounds over about half of an inch area. Let's try it out. So first we've got to put the piston into the cylinder. I'm putting a little bit of silicon grease on the O-rings because otherwise they do not seal at all. This seal is a, actually a terrible seal. If anyone has any ideas how to get a better seal here, I would love to hear about it. So slide that in there, and if we close this valve, you can see there is some compression happening. If I push and then let go, it pops back up again, but boy, it goes away fast. That is a terrible seal. Anyway, let's do that. Turn this whole apparatus upside down. Now to get the butane, into the cylinder. I found this little guy on Amazon. It's for filling camp stoves. It really just happens to be the right size to fit in here. It does not make a tight seal at all, but that's okay, because what's coming out of the butane bottle is a liquid, and so the liquid will shoot down through this valve and land in the cylinder. I do this turned upside down on a table because one time I tried it not over the table, and when the butane started boiling, the pressure shot the piston out across the room. So always make sure your piston is stopped when you're having phase changes like this. So now let's shoot some liquid butane into the cylinder and hopefully you can see it flow down there. Okay, so now we got plenty of liquid butane in there. Let's seal it up and lock it in. You can see as the pressure builds, it's still boiling, but hopefully it'll stop boiling soon. It's so boiling a little bit. Let's increase the pressure. All right, when we increase it, it actually just leaks. All right, so now it's pretty much stopped boiling. Now let's decrease the pressure. Now you see how it all boils and turns into the gaseous phase. As I give it more and more volume, less and less pressure. And now let's compress it again. Compress it again, turns back into a liquid, and then uncompress it, turns back into a gas and boils. Now, every time I compress it, it's actually getting warmer, and then it's rejecting heat mostly into this aluminum piston rod. And then if I pull it out and it evaporates into a gas, then it needs heat, so it's stealing heat from this rod, and it's getting colder. Hopefully I'll get a thermal camera on there to be able to see that change in heat as it expands and contracts and turns from gas to liquid. But for now, this is the simplest air conditioner I think you can make using hardware store and Amazon parts. Hopefully we can get that seal better and really get it working. Next step is gonna to be to connect a T to here and then more valves and that way we can have a condenser and an evaporator compress it into a condenser and then run it through an expansion valve into an evaporator and get actually a hot side and a cold side. So maybe that'll be the next video. Thanks.